in this video we'll show you how to design a secondary bar. Firstly, you need to design the bar. To see how to do that, please watch our video. When this is done, you can use the Copy and Append option to create the secondary bar design. The position and insertion of attachments for the secondary construction will be used from the primary construction. When you've designed the bar, you can use the Copy option. Right-click on the designed case, and from the Copy menu, choose Copy and Append CAD Design. Open the order form and modify the indications. The bar is already designed, so what you need to do now is clear all indications. Check if any tooth is selected, and click on the Removable tab. Click OK. The software will ask you now if you want to rescan. Choose No. The bar is now connected to the base of the model, and you can start designing the secondary construction. Right-click the case and choose Design. Dental Designer will open. The model with the bar will be visible as a gypsum model. The software will take you straight to the insertion direction step. Go back to the Prepare step first. In here, you can use the options to modify the model like the tooth extraction, the wax knife to remove any artifacts, and others. Since the bar has been designed with the slide attachments at the back, there is not enough space for the sleeve or plastic components which will fit into it. That needs to be fixed. With this version of Dental System, if you go to the Attachment menu, you'll see that the software automatically detects the attachments. There are the red dots visible on both sides of the bar. Now find the same attachment type in the Library menu. This will allow us to attach both parts, the male and the female, very precisely. While placing the attachment, you can either modify the position for the matching component and place it as precisely as you can with the help of the control points. After that, right-click on the Added Attachment and choose the Align to Primary Attachment option. This allows to place the female part according to the male part. You can also place it in a random position, close to where the male part is, not focusing to do it precisely, and then use the option Align to Primary Attachment. The system will combine the two parts. Now we will show you what can go on top of the primary design bar. Start with the RPD construction that fits the bar. Set the insertion direction and the block out angle if needed. Click Next to go to the wax trimming substep. Here you can add, remove or smooth applied wax. When you are ready, click Next to start designing the restoration itself. Go straight to the major connector substep to create a secondary construction plate. Click on the Draw button and place the outline for the major connector. Click the preview to see the outcome. Skip the further substeps and move to the finalized step. Use the scope tools if needed. When your design is ready, move to the Save step. The design is saved and you can close it. Use the Copy and Append option again and start designing the denture with the RPD base. Start with analyzing the model, defining the occlusal plane, and setting the characteristic points for both jaws. In the Surveying and Blocking Out step, check the insertion direction and set it if needed. Further on, position the teeth in the correct place, according to the opposite jaw, with the help of the design tools, and move further to design the base for the denture. Move to the Anatomy Design step, sculpt the designs, set the parameters needed for the coupling mechanism and for the base connection, and when you are ready, move to the Save step. Save and send the designs for manufacturing. With the possibility to design secondary bars, you can create different types of restorations. Our example is just one of those possibilities. You have now learned how to design the secondary bar. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching. Thank you.